got 5.9. We have got health and safety. Report Lynn. Who are And the familiar face there too, eh? Good afternoon. So, um, she's a little bit of Back up for any technical questions. Oh, welcome aboard, Michelle. Thank you. So you were in an RAL. I've been there, been over oil and gas, and now back in Chapai. So yeah, oh, nice to have you back. Yeah, Good to see you. Right, okay, Lynn. So I take the item as read. Uh, do we have any questions? Uh, oh, that was quick. You should let me read it. That's all right, no. Uh, have we any, uh, any incidents? Right. Um, no, there's been no not, uh, notifiable events. Um, yeah. Of course, as as a council with 330 odd staff, we there are always incidences um, of a minor nature. Um, most of our incidences do occur by a third party, which is at the swimming pool. Swimming pools, so yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Any questions of the the ladies? All pretty straightforward, comprehensive, comprehensive report. Yeah. So just to note, um, this report was a, a deliberate in regards to just giving you an idea of what our strategy is for the next year um, and what our focus around health and safety will be um, for the coming year. Just so you've got a baseline to so you know what we are doing um, with most of the focus on contractor management, making sure we have good systems in place for that. Um, starting off with pre-qualification process and we can through to ensuring that we're doing um, competent incident management. Uh, what else are we doing? Um, risk management. Risk management and a focus on health as well. <laughs> because in, in terms of, um, as the report says, we tend to focus on safety and there's a lot more focus now on the new legislation around health. So we'll be also focusing on that as well over the coming year. Sorry, just an operational thing, and probably sidetracking. Do you have a drug test? We got a current, we, well, yes, we do. Currently, you like drug and alcohol test. testing? Yeah, I mean. we test pre employment. Yep. We test for reasonable cause. So, if a, a staff member may look like something is going on, um, and not their normal behaviour, we, we can test for that as well. And post incident or accident is our current policy. We've currently got a policy out for consultation to introduce random testing and the consultation finishes next Wednesday, 5th of July. Okay. And a decision to be made after that. Cool. All right. Okay. Do you have a question, Lynn and Michelle? Councillor Park. Yeah, I'm, I'm just interested in this operation, so it's not really a reason to count back, but um, is that, is that just something you have to do? You have to consult with the staff to introduce something like random drug testing. It just can't become um, policy by the senior leadership group? Basically, consultation is, we have an obligation under the Employment Relations Act to, um, you know, around good faith. Mm. Um, so that's part of that process. Um, technically, you could argue that we don't have to, but it's certainly the right thing to do. Yeah. Um, because, you know, when you're the one involved in putting the policy together, sometimes you miss gaps, you miss things, so it's really good to get that feedback from staff. You know, I think it's great to... It's quite a helpful to process. ...take the staff with you. you it's know, a helpful so process just to see, to say what we've got right or what we haven't. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now I have a question. Councillor Rankin, sorry. Do we train our staff who have public contact? I'm not talking about necessarily at the front desk, but like dog ranges and things like that. And I'm thinking about the hospital situation that my other hat on, I look at where people in A&E are, you know, we're teaching them de-escalation and things all the time because they really are in danger and some awful things are happening. Do we... I mean, often you're dealing with angry people when you're in a dog situation, for example. Do we do we do training in terms of that health and safety aspect? We do. We're currently just finishing off a round of training around, um, so for our warranted officers, and part of that training is around how to um, handle aggressive um, situations. Um, so that training training is currently going on at the moment. Yeah, right. Okay. It's a continual, continual process. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. 
Very good. Okay. Thanks, Sam. Nice to see you, Michelle. Nice and, um, <laughs> no. So, uh, there's a recommendation here. Can I have a move, please? Moved by Councillor Park, seconded by Councillor Rankin. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Okay.